Welcome to Tech Guy channel. In this video, I am going to show how to work in MS Excel formulas and functions. The ability to perform calculations is one of the purposes of using a spreadsheet application. In Excel, the calculation can be specified using either a formula or a function. Formulas are self defined instructions for performing calculations, while functions are predefined formulas that come with Excel. In either case, all formulas and functions are entered in a cell and must begin with an equal sign. Formulas that you create in your Excel spreadsheets can be simple or complex. Simple Excel formulas perform just one mathematical operation. For example, equals 5 times 20, or equals, some range A1 through A10. While complex which is advanced Excel formulas include more than one calculation. For example, equals 5 times 20 divided by 2, or equals some range A1 through A10 divided by 2. Whatever formula you are going to write, begin by typing equal sign either in the destination cell or in the Excel formula bar. After the equal sign, a formula includes the addresses of the cells whose values will be manipulated with appropriate operands placed in between. These operators are used to perform basic mathematical operations such as addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. As you can see here in the example formulas column, it begins with equal sign followed by the formula. Let's start now for formula example. For our formula example, we'll create the formula for the month of January and February. The most logical solution would be to type the formula, equal sign B2 plus B3 plus B4 plus B5 plus B6 into cell B-7. You can also enter formulas by using the point mode, where you either click on a cell with your left mouse button or you use the arrow keys. You'll notice that the calculation executes immediately after the formula is typed into the cell and entered by pressing either the enter or tab key or by clicking the check mark in the formula bar. And to check the formula, just click the cell where you have entered the formula and it will appear in the formula bar. In this formula which we have just done, we used the cell reference. The advantage of using cell reference is, automatic recalculation. Excel automatically recalculate all dependent formulas every time any value, formula, or name referenced in those formulas is changed. Let's make some changes to the costs for January and February, note how Excel automatically recalculates the formulas we have already entered. That's it for the entering formula and it's time to go for the function formula. Functions perform calculations by using specific values, called arguments, in a particular order called syntax. When using a function, remember the following. Use an equal sign to begin the function. Specify the function name. Enclose all of the function's arguments within parentheses. Use a comma to separate the function's individual arguments. The following table contains the definitions and examples of some commonly used functions. Some function, adds all numbers in a range of cells and returns the result. Average function, returns the average of the arguments. Max function, returns the largest value from the numbers or ranges provided. Min function, returns the smallest value from the numbers provided. The SQRT function is used to return the square root of a number or a cell referenced. Today function returns the current system date. Each function has different syntax. The syntax for sum, average, max, and min has number 1, number 2 up to 255 arguments and enclosed with parenthesis. Number 1 is required and the subsequent numbers are optional. The SQRT functions has only one argument and it is required, while today function has no argument. Looking at the examples, some function used a cell range reference, in this case, equals sum, cell range A1 through A50 which will return the sum of cells contained from range A1 through A50. On the average function, number is entered directly, in this case it is equals, average number 250. The example will take the sum of 250, divided by 2 which is the count of entered number. The max function example uses cell reference, in this case equals max cell A5 and A10, 
which will return the highest value contained in cell A5 and A10. The min function used cell range reference, in this case equals min function cell range A1 through A100. This example will return the lowest value contained from cell A1 through A100. In the SQRT function used cell reference, in this case, equal SQRT function, cell A20. This example return the square root of the number contained in cell A20. And the last example today function returns the current date. This cover working in formulas and functions. If you found this tutorial is helpful please give us a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe on our YouTube channel for more great Excel tutorials. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day.